Okay, so today we're going to show you how you can get rid of the dreaded Windows Copilot in Windows 10. Stick around, we'll show you how. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, today we're going to look at how you can remove Windows Copilot or Microsoft Copilot from Windows 10. Now, what is Copilot? You've probably seen it popping up all over the place. Now, Microsoft Copilot is artificial intelligence for Windows. So that basically means you can really talk to it. You can type a sentence in, ask it a question just as you would do a human being, and it should give you the answer. Not only that, but you can use it to help you write emails, letters, text messages, generate photographs or pictures, all sorts of things. Now, unless you're paying for a Microsoft 365 subscription, you've probably got the free version of Microsoft Copilot, which in actual fact does most things, but Microsoft 365 users do get early access to the newest features. So before we remove it, we just wanna see whether or not it's gonna be any good to you. So uh, let's just go into it. So I've just opened it up. It needs us to manage our cookies accept or reject them so there we go we can now just ask it a question it says what can we do together so let's just type in there so I'm going to ask it to help me write a letter of complaint so I've just typed that in help me write a letter of complaint and let's just click on the little arrow there to submit and it will give us a few suggestions. Now it calls out to the internet to try and find the answer. And there we are. So it's come up with some suggestions on how to lay the letter out. And it's also going to give me in a moment some templates as well. There you go. There's some details there on where you can get templates on complaint letters. So uh, there you go. You can click any one of those and uh, it should give us a, uh, a template of a formal complaint letter. But it's also given us advice as well back there on the main screen. So in some cases, it can be pretty handy. You can basically, you can ask it absolutely anything just by clicking into chat with Copilot and then asking it a question, just as you would another human being. Now, obviously, to use Copilot, you must have the internet connected to your computer. Most people do, but if you haven't got an internet connection, then you're probably going to find this absolutely useless. So if you if you think to yourself, no, I'm never going to use it. I hate it. I don't want it. Let's just close it down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and just close down any other windows that you've got open. So all you've got to do is click on the start button just there. And if you see Copilot in there, move your mouse over it, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And you'll get this sub menu come up, go down to uninstall and left click. Now, if you don't get that menu come up, then go down to the settings cog just over there. Left click once on that and settings should come up. And all you got to do is you just got to go down to apps just there. Left click once on that and you should get a list of apps come up and one of them will be Copilot. So click over Copilot and then click uninstall and then click uninstall again and Copilot will be removed from your system in its entirety. Now, I can't guarantee it's not going to come back. Microsoft are really trying to push Copilot. It might also appear as well if you go into Bing and other Microsoft services. There's no way you can fully eradicate Copilot. Unfortunately, Microsoft do like to uh, to try and promote their stuff. So if you go into Bing, you may well see it. And like I say, you may well see it in other services. Like I say, I've just gone into Bing and there you go. There is the Copilot app just in there. I can't seem to get rid of it from there. That's actually built in to the Microsoft's Bing website, unfortunately, completely controlled by them. So there's no way to get rid of it from absolutely everywhere. But you can get rid of the actual app that might have been falsely installed onto your computer. 
So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or even Fire Stick accessories, or even a VPN, then we've got loads of great links down there for you, including a link to my Amazon shop with all things that I've seen on Amazon recently and liked. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check out my downloader store on the Fire TV stick. It's 21203. Also, check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.